Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. So let's get started. First off, question that comes up a lot of times, are you a long-term stock market bull? Now, a lot of people are, because quite frankly, the stock market has done pretty well over the course of the last 70 years or so. So with that being said, being the long-term stock market bull, are you also a short-term trader? One of the things that I find interesting about the ISC options is the fact that you can have a trading opinion independent of the stock market. Because sometimes when you look at the stock market, let's say that you have a lot of stocks that you're holding for a longer period of time, but then you're uh, bearish on the market for a shorter term, you're kind of wrestling with yourself when you're trading. One of the benefits about the uh, ISC currency options is that it can kind of be a separated style of thing. Uh, With that being said, you might also ask yourself the question, are you just too uncertain to even want to get into the market at all? So with that, I think these are questions that need to be addressed uh, before getting into any trade, whether it is a currency trade, a stock trade, an option trade, or any type, type of trade for that matter. Now this is a question that I like to kind of show on the screen as opposed to just answering. Are you diversified? Well, oftentimes financial planners like to preach diversification through different areas of the stock market. You have X percent in large cap, X percent in mid cap, X percent in small cap. Well, in looking at this chart, to me, this doesn't look like that much of a difference. There's a little bit of a difference there uh, in certain things, but over time, you're going to get very similar results at at different times. Uh, The point is that I'm really a believer, and once again, this is just my personal belief, a sinking tide lowers all boats, and a rising tide raises all boats. If large caps go down, small caps will also. The percentages might be bigger bigger or smaller, but obviously from this chart, the direction is still the same. Now what this chart is, this is a chart of SPY, which is an ETF designed to track the S&P 500, and that is a large cap index. It's also of IWM. IWM is is an ETF designed to track the Russell 2000, which is a small cap, and MDY. MDY excuse me, is the S&P, it's a mid-cap index. Now, once again, the point of showing you this slide is to show that there is a very similar relationship of the different weighted sectors of of the stock market. Now, there are variations, but the rate of return and the uh, loss correlations are very similar. And I think it's pretty obvious to see within this chart itself. Now, another way with which is often preached as a way of diversification is that of sector diversification. <clears throat> well, what I did is I took all of the uh, spider select sectors, XLE, XLI, XLU, and, and so on down the line, and we came up with a chart showing you how the sectors have performed. These are all the SCLA ETFs, so to speak, as we so affectionately call them. Now, looking at this, this is also pretty similar. Now, the time frame for this chart as well as the last chart was from November of 2008 till February 11th, 2010. And if you look throughout history, uh, you will see similar uh, correlations on it. Now, throughout time, you can make a case for one or the other, but bottom line is, is you're going in a pretty similar direction. Now, on this chart, you do see the one that's lagging at the bottom. That's the financial sector. Obviously, the financials were hit pretty hard over the the course of this time frame. Uh, But the point is is that you're seeing fairly similar results in a lot of these sectors. You have, like, the upper group, the middle group, and the lower group. Once again, this is something with which uh, I believe in diversification. Don't get me wrong, but when doing so, are you really diversified? Where am I going with this? Well, this is a segue and to kind of briefly give you an insight into the direction that the presentation will be going within the following slides. 
we believe at Know Your Options that there's a need for many investors and traders, not everybody, because nothing is for everybody all the time. There is no end-all, be-all, holy grail of trading. If there was, quite frankly, um, I'd be out on a boat fishing somewhere right now because I'd already have made my billions. No, not millions, billions. Uh, so with that, the need that we feel for a lot of people is that currency exposure is something with which is needed in the long-term portfolio as well as the short-term trading plan. Now, with that being said, I'm typically a bigger fan of options as an investment manager over the course of time. Uh, reason being, you have the limited risk involved. If you're long options, you have the ability to sell premium. If you're shorter options, uh, you have the ability to customize the risk as well as the potential reward to how you want it as an investor. So with that being said, uh, the, the ISC currency options definitely play a role with a lot of our clients, uh, not only on the short-term trading side of it, uh, but even actually a lot more so on the longer-term side of it uh, because we use things as a hedge. Now, with that being said, today's focus is the shorter term. Now, we're balancing our portfolio with the FX options. We will definitely address that. Uh, but as advertised, I really want to go through the straddle and the strangle as those are the strategies of the day, so to speak. Now, let's say, for example, that you want to have an opinion on a specific market, whether let's say that you have an opinion on IBM and you have a portfolio full of Dow Jones weighted stocks, meaning that you um, a lot of your money for the long term, is in a pretty good correlation with the Dow Jones. Well, if you ever were to compare IBM to the Dow Jones, in a lot of cases it's very similar. But let's say that now all of a sudden you're bearish on IBM but long uh, all these Dow stocks. And just so you know, uh, at Know Your Options, we don't have any positions in IBM. I'm just kind of making it up off the top of my head uh, to give you an idea of this. Well, you wrestle with the idea of should I go against what my overall portfolio is for the long term, just for the short term gain. And I might be wrong on both accounts, I might be right on both accounts, but I don't feel like all, uh, all eight cylinders are going in the same direction. And I kind of wrestle with that, so to speak. Well, uh, one of the things about the ISC options is that there's not a ton of correlation, so to speak, to the, uh, under, to the stock market. So with that being said, and Steve and I have done webinars on the correlations of the uh, currencies to the marketplace in the past. So with that, let's say that we want to do a trade and we want something independent of the stock market. Well, I think the ISC options are a good place to consider uh, taking a look at this. Now, the trade with which I want to discuss right now is the straddle. And we're going to start with what's known as the long straddle. And these graphics are all provided from the Brokers Express website. A long straddle as you can see on the screen, is when a call and a put are bought on the same underlying for the same expiration at the same strike price. This is a limited risk trade. And when I say limited risk, it's limited risk from the standpoint you can only lose the amount with which you pay on it. Good news about the straddle, money can be made to the upside or to the downside. If the stock goes way up, you make money on the call. If the stock goes way down, you make money on the put. That's the beauty of it. Now, of course, uh, the bad reason for it is that, or the, the, the downside of it is the fact that you're paying twice as much in premium as opposed to just buying a call or buying a put. It's not cheap, in other words. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISC FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.